Hey 40 plusers, YouTubers, and my subscribers. Hi, greetings. So today I am here doing empties. Why? Because bag got full. All right, so let's see, what do we start with? I'm just gonna go randomly. I've added some stuff today and um, We'll see what we get to. All right, so last night I used up my Burt's Bees Peach and Willow Bart Exfoliating Makeup Remover Towels. Um, these, for the price I paid, come in at 24 cents a piece, which is more expensive than the others because there's only 25 in these and most of the other packs have 30. And it's probably because these are thicker um, because they have the texture and the quilting. So, I used these. I don't think I'm going to be buying these regularly. I think there's something that I need sporadically. And I have a bunch of samples I have to get through. Uh, I've got a pink grapefruit one, a Pond's one, a ginger and white tea, and some other brands as well. So I'm not going to buy these right away, but they were very nice. They did what they said they were going to do. Helps to uh, invigorate is the way I come across items because you get some uh, scrubbage going on. But yeah, a good empty. Recommend it. Um... I have the package, I don't have the container, I don't know, I must have thrown it away. The Professional um, from Benefit, this was a sample, uh, my first exposure to it, I used it, I liked it, it's on my to buy list, um, specifically because it was tinted, whereas some are clear, and I think I prefer tinted. Um, pore fillers and minimizers and wrinkle fillers, so that's on the to buy list. Um, used up over the holidays, uh, Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. I really like this, um, and I'm still working through some fragrance samples, and when I decide what one to purchase, I, I will, but this one I really liked. Juicy Couture, Gold Couture. Um, there, I've got at least one more. I don't know. They ran. This was next to it. This is Giorgio Armani C. This was okay. I I don't think I'm purchasing this one, but it was nice to have some variation and try it out, but not to purchase. Um. Okay. Um. I colored my hair the week of Christmas and the I used up the conditioner that goes with it randomness um, uh, poor refining facial sheet mask uh, from derma 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 tin TS and I really liked this. I used it two days in a row because there was a lot of moisture and, and treatment juice in here. Treatment juice. There was a lot of juice in here. So I used it two days in a row. Um, and I also used it on my hands and things. So this was nice. I will probably repurchase that. Um, used up uh, non-acetone. Uh, nail polish remover from Dollar General and I did repurchase mm. my favorite gum ice breakers ice cubes and lemon ice empty I just I went and bought like 12 the other night <laughs> so that's how much I like it but that was the last one I had um, Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. Um, 
eyeliners in the warm nude shades. I had the green eyes shades, um, which were green, purple, and black. I used those up and I decided to go with this. And so there's a copper, a bronze, and a black with a copper shimmer. And I'm using those pretty much every day right now. Um, a sample that I used up, Strivectin SD Advanced in Intensive Concentrate for wrinkles and stretch marks. Um, I used this um, on the outsides of my eyes, in my frownies, and down my neck into my uh, chest area. And when I can afford it, I may pick this up. I have a few other Starvectin samples that I'm testing, but this is Spendy. This is a Spendy brand for me. So, eh. that that's a barrier. Um, I used up the gym deodorant I carry to the gym. This was an Adidas fresh dry scent. Um, all done. Mm, used up. You can see it's all the way done, done. Blistex Raspberry Lemonade Blast with SPF 15. I love this. If I didn't have 40 other lip balms, I'd go buy it. Um, uh, more fragrance samples, Prada Candy. This is on the potential list um, along with the Gold Couture. Um, really like this scent. It's like caramely sweet goodness. Um, used up Ole Regenerist Micro Sculpting the Serum. This I use after my vitamin C serum and before my moisturizer. And I use it boob up. Love this stuff. Crash. What else we got? Um, used up Micro Sculpting Moisturizer from Olay. Dry. I would have, I mean, it looks like I licked it clean, right? Okay, what else? What else? What else? Um, used up. This is Revlon Color Stay, I think. Yes, this is Revlon Color Stay Makeup. Um, I use uh, Buff. So that is empty, empty, empty. Scraped Baron. Um, uh, Laura Geller um, Makeup Primer uh, Spackle Champagne Colored Sample. Did not like this. No, thank you very much. Tried it though. Used it three days. Decent size sample. Uh, also used up um, Blistex uh, Nurture and Nourish SPF 15. This is the one with grapeseed oil. Done. Dun dun dun. Alright. Um, also, empties that I consider beauty and health related, uh, my gummy vitamins. So I used up D3 for healthy bones. I can't take calcium specifically with my thyroid medicine, um, it in seems to inhibit its function, um, but yet I want to have, you know, healthy bones as I age and especially want to make sure my bones are in good shape before menopause. So I'm uh, taking things to make calcium absorption improve naturally and vitamin D is one way and especially in the winter when I'm not outside and there's not a lot of radiant sun. 
I take that. Um, energy boost plus mood boosting, at least for me, B complex vitamins. Take those in the morning. And I just started in a, um, taking uh, a multivitamin. Not for the multivitamin stuff, um, but because this one has biotin in it. And biotin is supposed to be good for nail, hair, and skin. And it's got some antioxidants, but not enough to count as, you know, I'm taking vitamin A or I'm taking vitamin E. You're not taking what my health store guru guy would recommend for those antioxidants, but it's a little booster, but the uh, biotin in here is 3,000 mics, and I take two. Again, gummies. I swallowed so many pills as a kid, I re refused to swallow pills, um, so hence the gummies. Um, and that's a whole nother story we won't get into. All right, the last thing in my empties is a sad little tail. And you see this? You see how it's all broken out there? Well, this brush, I had washed my e.l.f. Total Face brush. And I don't know what I did, but the entire center was a matted matted all the way down to the center matted 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 just a big hole of matation and I was trying to oh, actually I was trying to save it so I put conditioner in it <laughs> you know trying to relax all the fibers and everything I know it's synthetic but I tried tried it and it did work a little bit um, but then I needed to comb it out. So I used this little puppy to get in there and comb it out. And it broke multiple times. And it sacrificed itself for the greater good. There's still some snarl in the middle, but it's usable. So, it sacrificed itself for the greater good. The e.l.f. $1 brow and lash brush. So, it served a purpose. Not its originally intended pur purchase, but it saved its fellow comrade. Dun, dun, dun. Now, what I'm going to do is pull the top off. It should come off. Twists. I might have to use pliers. Save the handle for if I break a brush handle. I don't know. Because I don't need to throw the whole thing off. Oh, I just broke more brushes. Sorry, guy. Let's see. Okay. That is all the empties I have for you today. I will have finished this little sample as soon as I do my moisturizing, but it's not empty now. It'll be empty in an hour. Okay, this is Deborah and I'm out. I hope you had uh, gained some insight into my trash. Um, if you want to ask questions about my trash, please do so in the comments. Join us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. We have good things going on over there as well. And as always, be happy, be healthy, and learn something new every day. Ciao.